And this year he says he's only going to eat meat that he's actually killed. And I was wondering, what are you adhering to? I'm a vegetarian, a strict vegetarian. No, have you done that? Well, I eat chicken. That's <laughs> <laughs> well, not all that That's strict. not vegetarian. I'm not, I said I'm not strict. I eat chicken and Steaks. beef. And <laughs> pork. I ate raw game. Did you ever eat uh, <laughs> It's not dead yet. No, no, you're <laughs> over And you there. eat it, and as you're eating it, their death throes are making you hungrier. <laughs> There's that, nothing. That's better than a soybean. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Which sounds better, that or soybean? <laughs> Listen. According to retailers, the most popular Halloween mask this year is O.J. Simpson. And the most popular Halloween greeting is, I'll kill you and that guy who's bringing over your glasses, or treat. <laughs> <laughs> this week on Larry King Live, Marlon Brando made the shocking statement that Hollywood is, quote, run by Jews. In response, outraged Jewish organizations made it snow in New York in April. <laughs> See, I, I, don't, I think we should get the homicide out of the White House and get like a, a, a fresh start because we don't want any more murderers. I no, think we, we should just go on to the next question. Oh. <laughs> Who's the murderers? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Clinton, he murdered a guy. Yeah, you know, we're not allowed, <laughs> no, to, you're not no, allowed um, to put out no um, accusations with that. That's a little Charlie. too that's far. That's the way it does let's work. Just, let's just go on to the next question. <laughs> <All right. laughs> yeah. This is not my week. What can I tell you? <laughs> oh, it's not mine either. And I'm being very nice, okay? <laughs> <laughs> be a good boy. Now, Norm. Do you never hear that? No. Listen, Norm, we don't need to talk about I don't want to get into this, and I don't want to hear it, and this is not the place to make those accusations. And you're supposed to be funny. Oh. Let's get on to the next Get with it. There you go. <laughs> this is a live show. Not Why? Norm, but you have been properly chastised by Barbara. Oh. So I'm not going to ask the next question. I thought it was a matter of record. Shut no. up. Uh, Norm, Shut up. Okay. Let me do this, okay? okay. <laughs> I'll tell you what's a matter of record. You will not be invited back if you don't shut up. Uh, All right, uh, now. <laughs> you, you, you've admitted that you're lazy. I think you've read six books in your life. I've you, read you, six. Six. What kind of a woman would be attracted to you, do you think? Well, I have a lot of money. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Hey, for the ninth consecutive year, uh, Nick, JetBlue Air, Airlines... Rank first for satisfaction among all North American airlines. But you know what ranked least in satisfaction? 9-11 airlines. <laughs> what a terrible name for an airline. It reminds me of that tragedy. <laughs> oh, 9-11. I <laughs> yeah, oh, don't laugh at 9-11 again. 9-11. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to tell him not to go, laugh. Adam? I know. I walked through blood and bones in the streets of Manhattan <laughs> trying to find my brother. Jesus. Yeah, he was in northern Canada. <laughs> Here we see the president and the first bitch. <laughs> hey, hey, slow down, you bitch. Let me catch up. I... When I accepted the honor of uh, performing here tonight, one thought crossed my mind, and that was, uh, please, God, don't let me bomb in front of the president. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not worried. What the hell do I care? You know, I got, I worked on all my jokes. I got a lot of help from, uh, from my joke writer, Don Imus. He was, uh, helped me a lot. <laughs> Are you familiar? You know this guy? He's a funny guy. He wrote some jokes. Anyways, the dinner was great. Did you enjoy the dinner? We had some salmon. Yeah, it was delicious. It was great. And uh, I thought it was, you know, I thought it was refreshing to see Democrats serve something other than subpoenas for a change. I thought that was nice, you know? <laughs> I'll be doing some jokes later. I just thought I'd... <laughs> uh, well, one time I was on his other show, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? And uh, uh, it was a celebrity who wants to be a millionaire, so the questions are a little easier. Yeah, you won. <laughs> <laughs>
I heard they didn't give you the money. Yeah. It. No, they, they no, they give it to a charity. They don't tell. Oh, that you. sucks. <laughs> <laughs> no, they give it. To, they give it to sick children. Oh, that's, that's nice. That's yeah, sure. that's nice. They need you know they need money too. Are you drunk? <laughs> <laughs> because all you did was ride a cooler and you're sweating. I am. Well, it's no, it's hot as a it's hotter than a two dollar. Well, pistol he's got like here. twelve layers on. Yeah, I, think. I thought it was going to be really cold. I, <laughs> Well, you're from Canada. This should be like it, this should be springtime. For no, you. I know I'm from Canada, but you know I'm still a human being. Like <laughs> you. It's not like you evolved differently. Right. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm from the frozen north. Yeah. Yeah, it, it gets colder than a. It gets colder than a. Oh, uh, oh here oh, it goes. Your finger on the panic button. No, it, it gets colder than a vampire's demeanor. <laughs> okay, that's better. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Surprisingly cerebral. What are you guys up to, man? You know, we're joined by the talented trio called the Lonely Island. Yeah, who you will know be what on I call the them? What do you call them? I call them Sandberg and the other couple of fellows. <laughs> the Mind Squad. The is how is how Rolling Stone put it. The Iron Horse of Broadcasting. It's Iron. You don't pronounce it iron. That's what everybody no, tells no, it's me. It's the iron horse. Like Luke Derrick was the iron horse of baseball. Yes. The word I-R-O-N is iron. iron. No, no, iron. Iron. That's yeah. what makes English the world's toughest language. Yeah. You know, right? Sure. It is the toughest, the toughest language. language to learn. I think it's the easiest. Yeah, well, you were born with it. In his book, O.J. Simpson says that he would have taken a bullet or stood in front of a train for Nicole. Man, I'm going to tell you, that is some bad luck when the one guy who would have died for you kills you. That's probably... <laughs> you don't get worse luck than that. You know about this girl? She's mad at you. She was on the Greg Fitzsimmons show. Did you hear anything about this? I know. Greg Fitzsimmons. Yeah. yeah Greg, was, Greg does a show for us. Uh -huh. And Greg was interviewing some girl and she was going off. I know who it is. What's the girl's name? You know, me and Norm have worked with her before. That's why he's going to laugh when I say the name. Laura Keitling. <laughs> hates your guts. <laughs> Did you know she hates you? Uh, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> Do you want to hear the clip? <laughs> sure. All right, all right, all right, hold on. By the way, wait, can I interrupt your old friend, uh, Norm McDonald? Did you guys write together on... Uh... He's not a friend of mine. Oh, Roseanne, right? Well, I was just using it loosely. Now, you had a oh, reaction boy, just not a friend of Norm McDonald. Mm -hmm. not, a, not a friend, not a fan. Uh-uh. You worked with him, though. Mm-hmm. At Saturday Night Live. Roseanne. No, I missed him at Roseanne. Well, I came in, and he was supposed to be the... Uh, my uh, kind of my guide through SNL, and it turned out that. Well, I mean, I barely remember Laura from the show, right. except for her hit characters, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but, I don't even know who she is. Uh, but uh, she's very she, makes, she makes Marwina Banks look like uh, Gilda Radner. <laughs> but no. Uh, you had a look of surprise on your face, even when this woman said, "Well, you know, Norm was supposed to be my guide through Saturday my Night Live." Guide? Did anyone t inform you that you were her guide? <laughs> no. No, 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 no. There was no such mentoring program at Saturday Night Live, was it? No, she came in directly after me, so I wouldn't be her M mentor. Yeah, I'm not going to guide any lady through comedy. That would take me, uh, first of all, I'd have to figure out how a lady could do comedy. <laughs> you know? And then I'd have to. <laughs> About the new people. The, oh, hey, guess what? There's a young girl that's uh, middling attractive that swears a lot. <laughs> Let's get her. Huh? Is that the new fucking thing? Yeah. Sarah Silverman. Hysterical. Right. Who's funnier than her? Nobody. No, except dudes. But, Nobody. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> and people had very strong opinions on the election. You know, some people had very strong opinions one way, and other people had strong opinions the other way. And uh, I didn't have any opinions at all. Uh, I don't have really any opinions on anything. Like, you ever watch the CNN, and they'll have the polls, you know, and it'll be like, what do you think about embryonic stem cell research? And then it'll be like, see, there you go. It'll be like, it'll be like, 52% yes, 46% no, 6% I don't know. <laughs> See? And that's me. I don't know. <laughs> so I phone up to CNN, you know, and I go, hey, uh, listen, is this the TV? Uh, 
Yeah, that question you asked about the embryonic stem cell research? I don't know. <laughs> and there's Charles Woodson. How about that? I want a season he had. Great, man. He, he became the first defensive player to win the Heisman Trophy. And congratulations, Charles. That is something that no one can ever take away from you. Unless you kill your wife and a waiter, in which case... <laughs> I got a kid. Uh, you have a kid? Uh, yeah, I, man. Uh, when you have a little baby, like, uh, I guess I never loved anybody before, you know? And, uh, <laughs> uh, when I had the baby, it was like, oh, my God. Like, you have all this love and you feel, like, so uh, incredible, you know? And, uh, like, single guys can't understand it. Like, so I'd be telling them, I'd go, this is, like, the most unbelievable feeling you'll ever have in your life, you know? And they'll go, like, is it like crystal meth? And I'm like... <laughs> He's brilliant, Byron now, and he had that comics unleashed. Mm -hmm. you ever do that? Mm -hmm. Oh, you couldn't be more leashed. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing. <laughs> it's not like there's nothing unleashed about it. Nothing. It's not like you'd have like Lenny Bruce on <laughs> no. and like. Dear and he has no segue. So this is what he said to John Lovitz one time. He said he just turned to him from you know he's talking to Shimmel and then he goes to John Lovitz. He goes, Now John, I understand you're growing older. <laughs> this is my promise okay. to the people of the video podcast network world. I will not eat a single morsel of food until Margaret Thatcher is dead and buried. She died three weeks ago. We'll be, we'll be right back with Larry King. The weirdest show I ever, I ever see the dating game? That's a weirdest show. The prize on the dating game, another contestant. Talk about cheap, you know, they chuck you somebody else. And they always do the same thing on the dating game. They get a beautiful girl, match her up with three big geeks. You know? <laughs> Last week they had a guy, I was like a crazy guy, loony bin, psycho, wingnut, crazy guy. You can tell by the way they introduce him. You know, they go, Bachelor number two is a shadowy, lurking character. <laughs> From no fixed address, please welcome. Guy comes shambling into the studio, well thumb copy of Catcher in the Rye sticking out of his back pocket area. <laughs> and then they made the girls ask those questions. They always be laced with sexual innuendo, you know? Girl got to go, Bachelor number two, if I were a popsicle. <laughs> What would you do to me then? What? That's what it says in the card here, something about a popsicle. And then the guy goes, well, if you were a popsicle, huh? Well, first of all, I guess I'd uh, take your wrapper off. If you know what I mean. And then I'd grab a hold of your sticks. If you know what I mean. And then I'd... Press you against the counter till you're broken too. <laughs> but put half you in the freezer till later. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, you understand what I'm getting at there? I, um, I play with him. You do. How old, How is, old he now? is this young man? He's uh, 15 years old. 15 years old. You're still old. playing with him. Right. You know, it's a funny thing. Yeah. When, I was a, when, when he was a very young boy, uh -huh. you know, when he was like three, four, or something like that, I would play games with him, you know, like we'd play basketball or something. Sure. And uh, I'd let him win. Right. You know? And uh, now he can beat me at everything. <laughs> and so he's like, hey, man, I always beat you at everything. I said, no, fuck, I used to let you win. He go, fuck. That's, he doesn't believe it. <laughs> he always beat you. <laughs> yeah, so he just thinks I'm some retard that can't beat a fucking infant. <laughs> but you know, it is rather daunting to me. I'm just a guy, you know? What the hell am I? And here I am, you know, I look out, I see President Bill Clinton, you know, I see Secretary of State Madeleine Albright, you know, media mogul Rupert Murdoch, you know, uh, broadcast legend Larry King, you know, uh, pornographer Larry Flint, you know, Dick Morris, the list is starting to drop off a little, folks, but still, you get the idea, it's daunting. <laughs> And of course, it was very inspiring to see 
President Clinton up here on crutches making a speech. I mean, I thought that was just uh, amazing, you know. Uh, I mean, it's been difficult for the president. You know, he can't jog now, and uh, he needs help getting around, and he's still, you know, he still uh, occasionally suffers great pain, you know. Uh, on the upside, you got your medical marijuana, so that's, uh, you know. <laughs> you must inhale, sir. It's the only way you're going to get better. It's family how's everything going oh great man couldn't be better life is uh is fantastic yeah that's i good. like life man you do really oh my god wow. people are complaining about it first of all you lucky <laughs> you're lucky enough to be alive when you think about it you know what i'm saying your mother had to have sex with your father that your grandparents had to have sex grand great grandparents yeah. had to have sex it's lucky you're alive my god it's amazing and i'm so happy every day you that I'm alive be. because it's just a fluke. There's so many, mo many more people that never got to be alive. <laughs> you know? and, uh, That's an interesting point. I guess you're right. Yeah. If you do the math. So when people carp about it, I'm like, man, it's the greatest gig in the world. Being alive, being you, get to, you get to eat at Denny's, wear a hat, whatever you want yeah. to do. Yeah, yeah. Get haircuts. It is. Well, good. I'm glad. It was revealed today that O.J. Simpson told police that Nicole Brown Simpson used to beat him up. He also claimed that she and Ron Goldman killed him. <laughs> I met that guy. Calls. I met that guy, uh, Michael J. Fox. Yeah, and people I, know him. It was He's before a, he was a love star. Yeah, it was before it was. It was out that he was. He had that thing. He has Parkinson. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it was before that. All right. So I met him at uh, at uh, Holly. Uh, what do you call it? What? Well, so I might ask you to go to the black and white thing in around five seconds. <laughs> no, Disney World. No, it's quick. It's quick. Disney World. I meet him. You know, I'm excited to meet oh, him. Boy. You know, so I meet him like ten years later, and here he is. Now he's got Parkinson's. And I go, you remember me? You know, I met you when I was young, and I met you at Disney World and everything. And he goes, Yeah, I just got a thing. I'm not crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I said I'm not crazy. Oh, that's <laughs> that was, I didn't mean this. Man, I didn't. I didn't mean that. I just meant. Do you, do you remember? Listen, I've got a couple young tykes who want to kiss the ring. You ready to receive this? Or yeah, yeah, you, yeah. You're not going to flip on these cats. <laughs> Anybody who loves you, you have to torch. That's oh, your yeah. mo. Torch. What am I, Jeffrey Ross? <laughs> well, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> but no, you know, you should. I admire people who have strong opinions. You know, like uh, Linda Rodstad. She did that thing. You know, where she was. Got up and sang and everything, and then she started talking. And then people were going, God damn, I thought she was supposed to sing. And, uh, and she just kept talking, and finally they were like, come on, man, sing those only two songs we ever heard you sing. We're trying to... $45 ticket I'm holding here. And, you know, celebrities have... Uh, uh, they can speak up, you know, they're... They're smart, you know, some of them. Most of them are, 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 are dumb, but some of them. <laughs> because I meet celebrities. I'm a celebrity. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> and so I, can, I meet celebrities, and I know as soon as I shake their hand, I know, hey, there's a dumb guy. You know, I got... Because <laughs> I'm a dumb guy myself, and I got that. You know how gay guys have the gay dar? I'm like that with dumb people. I'm like, hey, how's it going? Hey, I could have a conversation with you, man. I... You people are just like me and you. I know. How many times do I have to tell you that? Well, you keep, you tell me that all day, how, how I'm just like all the, the, you know, gay people. Gay people are the same as, as everybody. No, you mean, no. you always tell me specifically how I'm, I, you're just, maybe you're just, I think you're just calling me gay. It's one of the It's two. not an insult. He no, it's an insult. No, no, I didn't mean it. Why would no. being gay be an insult? Yeah. I love gay people. Yeah, I know. Well, let's get to O.J. O.J. Simpson's lawyers say they don't want the families of Nicole Brown and Ronald Goldman in the courtroom during the trial. They're afraid the presence of the family members will just remind O.J. of how much more killing he still has to do.
finally, folks, next week, Jews everywhere will be celebrating the holiday of Yom Kippur, or as non-Jews refer to it, Wednesday. <laughs> but uh, Bob is a very, very funny man, and, uh, and uh, I, I go, often go in the booth with him, you know. Oh, sure. So uh, one time we were there, <laughs> and uh, John Fogarty was in the audience. Mm -hmm. You know, a fortunate son, you know? So uh, John Fogarty was there. So Bob Euchre is a very uh, interesting guy. He thinks of everybody as the same. He doesn't think of people as stars or anything like that. He's a very down-to-earth yeah. guy. So uh, he was talking to me. He says, hey, man, you know that guy? I go, yeah. He goes, that's uh, John Fogarty, rock and roll singer. <laughs> so I go, yeah. I go, yeah, yeah. I know who it is. He goes, yeah, man. He goes, uh, but I played in a golf tournament with him. He goes, you probably think of him as some that likes to bite the heads off of chickens, but... Uh, <laughs> This guy can, uh, <laughs> That's exactly how I think of him. This guy can get it out of the sand trap like nobody's <laughs> business. So, uh, <laughs> so he goes, he's got a hell of a set of pipes on him. Uh, he goes, uh, uh, come the seventh inning stretch, I'll have him up here, he'll sing for you. <laughs> So I said, no, no, Bob, don't do that. Like, don't have him come up and sing yeah. for me, please, you know? He goes, what's matter, man? Don't you even know who he is? He got all mad. <laughs> so I go, yes, Bob, I know who he is. He did Creedence Clearwater sure. Revival. Yeah. He goes, yeah, he did all that. <laughs> now, do you think uh, Cosby's uh, legacy uh, will be hurt? Yeah. You do, huh? I mean, there was a comedian, Patton Oswalt, he told me, I think the worst part of the Cosby thing was the hypocrisy. And I disagreed. You disagree with that? Yeah. I thought it was the raping. <laughs> As my feeling, most rapists are hypocrites. You don't meet many who go, I like raping, and I, I know it's not politically correct, but by God, people go, well, he's not being a hypocrite, and that's the worst part. <laughs> No, it's a question from, uh, from Blake's good friend, Norm. <laughs> <laughs> now, Blake, uh, it's fun watching you this year. Wasn't it cool? Yeah. Thank you. And uh, I was wondering, like, there's a kind of a curse with Rookie of the Year. Nobody's ever repeated it. Hmm. I didn't think about that. Well, I'll try as hard as I can next year, but... All right, man. I don't know. I don't know. Thank you for that question, though. That's going on top of the goals for next year. <laughs> Do you know the Harlem, sh the Harlem Shake? Yeah, I've seen it on okay. every single You've commercial. seen it. Then you'll appreciate this joke. I remember back when the Harlem Shake was just a back black fella holding me upside down off a fire escape trying to collect his money. Can you find out what the... You know what just occurred to me, Mr. President? You are now handicapped, and you're the President of the United States. You must have an unbelievable parking spot, you know? <laughs> to be very close to the building, you know? <laughs> Reveal this week that defense lawyer Johnny Cochran once abused his first wife. In his defense, Cochran said, hey, at least I didn't kill her like some people I know. <laughs> Listen, man, uh, congratulations. That's the hundredth time that joke's been done tonight. <laughs> but I also want to tell you, I have a, I have a bet with Daniel Kellison, uh -huh. a rather large figure. Daniel uh, Kellison, who put this whole thing together yeah. way Wait, over bet? his head. He, he, says you he, gonna, did it. he says you can explain what the fuck Jash is. Jash is... Uh, uh, pay up, fucker. Jash is a, a comedy collective, a, a, a United Artists, if you will, oh. uh, uniting myself, Reggie Watts, Michael, Sarah, and Tim and Eric. And what do we do? We do whatever we dream up. We shoot it, and it goes on there. We can fail. We can do well. It's total no freedom. No offense, but it sounds like some fucking commie gobbledygook. You got me, Norm. I mean, I've never heard the word collective. Without I know, but um, Daniel Trotsky. puts buzzwords in my head, oh, and then I just blindly hey, out say of them. all those people you mentioned... I know you're new to this. <laughs> <laughs> and I teach you something. One of the first things in hosting an interview show is to 
listen What's that to now? The, <laughs> the answer given by the guest. My whole motto, my whole broadcasting career, that's why I don't like a lot of guys on the air now, is that I never learned anything when I was talking. Can I interrupt you there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to illustrate the point that their client is running out of money to defend himself, O.J. Simpson's lawyer said this week that if he had to do it over again, after killing his victims, O.J. would now rob them as well. <laughs> that one you find troubling? We went. Did I tell you I ate a, a, a live fish in uh, real life? No, wow. no, tell no. Me. Yeah, I was at a sushi restaurant, and uh, the guy's like uh, Japanese, mm -hmm. and uh, so I go, I, I eat uh, just sashimi, like uh, raw fish. Mm -hmm. I don't eat uh, with uh, rice or anything like that. Yeah, I'm not trying to impress him. <laughs> so he goes, uh, eat raw. Uh, you eat uh, live fish? I go, yeah. Even though I don't. <laughs> and uh, he goes, never think he's going to call you. On yeah, it. and yeah. Uh, I go. Plus, it sounds kind of cool. Mm -hmm. And he goes, I, I get you live fish. I go, thanks, man. Like I was an inside guy, and then he brought out a fish and uh, and hit it and knocked it out and put it on a stick. It was live, and that clears out a sushi bar. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people, <laughs> my the girl I was in was barfing in a bathroom, <laughs> and the only people interested was the the guy, the, the Japanese sociopath uh, guy, and all the uh, and all the Mexican help. They were all like looking like I'd eat it. And so I had to cut it, and then they leave the, 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 the fish that's on the skeleton that looks like the one Sylvester found on mm -hmm. a garbage thing mm -hmm. uh, to go to move. It's moving and like a dead bobblehead, and you had to put water in its mouth to keep it alive so you could watch it die as you ate. <laughs> <laughs> it was a nice meal. <laughs> Jesus, I'm living such a pale life here. I mean, you are. If you guys think it's weird that guy in Cleveland kept three women in his basement as sex slaves, wait till you hear what my middle-aged Uncle Gordon kept in his basement. A fucking electric train. <laughs> At least these were human beings. <laughs> At least. Live in the great light, live in the dream every day. Yeah. Warm, every day. Did you enjoy that bit we did with driving around? It was really hysterical. Yeah, I got a late, uh, I got a late, they, 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 they put, put me in late. I don't think, I would have to take a Where look did you at go? It. Did you take a works. spin around the station? I couldn't find you. <laughs> you drove way too far down the road. I, I, got a, I got a heavy foot. There's a real stream of consciousness thing happening here, Norm. Yeah, it's called conversation. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no break on mine. <laughs> oh, man, I wanted to buy this dog. You should have seen this dog. This guy wanted to sell me a dog in the store. It was $600, this dog. Can you believe it? $600 for a dog? Oh, man. I was looking to pay, you know, a, a buck. <laughs> I just wanted a bargain dog, a nice discount dog, a cheap, off-the-rack kind of dog, any kind of... Show me to your bin of dogs, my good man, I said to the guy. But this guy says, no, he says, he says, why don't you buy this dog? He says, this is 600 bucks, this dog. But he says, this dog is a pit bull. He says, this dog will protect your valuables. You know? And I don't even have anything very valuable, you know. I, I buy the pit bull, that would be the most valuable thing I have. <laughs> I'd have to buy something to protect it then, you know. I'd be out shopping for wolverines the next day there. Show me something in a timber wolf if you could. Uh, you know, of course, they say the White House is haunted. Did you know that? And uh, I thought this was kind of sad. I heard uh, last night that President Clinton uh, charged uh, Abraham Lincoln's ghost 10,000 to sleep in his own bed. So that's... That doesn't seem right to me, you know? I mean... But look, the president, you know, has come under a lot of fire for raising money, but you know, you know, he's good at, he's good at raising money. That's not a bad thing, every president's done it, it's just that President Clinton is very, very, very good at it. You know he has organized in the past year over 100 fundraising dinners and over 200 fundraising midnight snacks, did you know that? <laughs> is he laughing? Is he... <laughs> O.J. Simpson's lawyers have decided to skip hearings on DNA evidence and go right to trial. Asked why they did this, the lawyers replied, 
We want to get O.J. acquitted as speedily as possible so he can get back to doing what he does best, killing people. Yeah. Well, I was just thinking, you know, because that, they have that Viagra thing out. Yeah. And the other day, you know, Bob Dole said, came right out and said... He was one of the first. Yeah. And, you know, you don't want to hear about Bob yeah. Dole's cock, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, President Clinton's cock, Bob Dole's cock, what the hell? But mostly, an old man like that, an old man... <laughs> You don't want him to have a super hard cock. You know what I mean? Why? Why? Because an old man, you want him to be uh, got a pipe going, a newspaper, the dog at his feet there? Well, that, in some corners, is considered pipe. Oh. <laughs> but now they're going to have to create some goddamn pill that, that makes women <laughs> arouse at the sight of a fucking 70-year-old dude with a super hard cock. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's crazy. This is Viagra. It's insane. <laughs> and you know what it's for? Impotent people. Right? Yeah. It's for impotent guys. So get this. The, the, I read this. The, 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 the pill can make your cock hard for four hours. Right. So now, who has the four-hour hard cock? The impotent guy. <laughs> the rest of us are fucked. Me and you. <laughs> me and you got our regular cocks. Meanwhile, fucking Spade is, uh, you know... Is, <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I didn't see it. I didn't see it coming. Dude, yet. I know you didn't. He brought it all around and then a vicious rip kick into his best friend's gut. Once there's too much cock talk, I try to just zone out for a minute until it goes back the other there, way. If there's too much cock talk, this guy has fevered nightmares all night. Dreams, I mean, like sweaty, fevered dreams from the, from the cock talk that's been all over his head. Cock, cock, cock. Why cock. bury me twice? He's killing me. No, he's a good man. <laughs> that erased it. All right. No, he's a good man. Who cares? After all that, that's nice. You know, I'm old enough to remember back to simpler, more innocent times when the worst thing you'd hear about the news was hijacked jetliners <laughs> flying into buildings. Oh, now, Gilbert, <laughs> you're going to get into trouble again. What I wanted to show you is how easy it is to watch yourself and other live streams on your tablet device. On the computer. On the computer. Yeah. Go ahead and hit play there. Okay. It's right oh, there I see. It's so, so simple. You see your face? Oh, yeah, it's me with a huge, fat fucking face. Yeah, I didn't want, I didn't want to be the one to say it. Yeah, I'm, I've been having a lot of trouble. My doctor, he said, uh, he's not a very nice guy. He said, uh, open your mouth and say oink. Yeah, you need to get better insurance, Norm. Insurance? <laughs> he was calling me a fat pig. Well, I mean, nobody's going to disagree with him. Oh, Kassam. I'm sorry, Norm. <laughs> I've got an acid tongue. <laughs> you do. You're an acid-tongued Arab. <laughs> well, no. one time I was hosting and there was three guys. I've never hosted. Just, How many times have you hosted? Just one time. It was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Did it not go well? It was all right. Did you do update? No. That's you didn't even right do update? It was right you after didn't... I got fired from update. I thought it would be funny to bring it up. But anyway, <laughs> so there, was, there, was three, there were three uh, uh, guys doing music, you know. Yeah. And I don't know music. I just know old music. Like, again, Lauren would go, who do you like? And I go, you like the, you know, this guy... Uh, uh, Bobby Goldsboro. Yeah, Bobby Goldsboro. <laughs> 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 well, Eddie, Eddie Cantor, is he around? <laughs> <laughs> and Lauren go, you've got to go, you know. So, uh, so who'd they have on? Very hip So they had, they had hip guys that I should, everyone else knew except me. It was Snoop Dogg. He yeah. just changed his name, and he was angry because I kept getting it wrong. Mm -hmm. It used to be Snoop Doggy Dogg. It was Snoop Dogg at Eminem and Dr. Dre. That's so a to pretty me, heavy lineup. Yeah, though. but to me, it was two black guys and a white guy. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I go to introduce them. Ah, you're beautiful. And they're all standing. Just trying to get this into the barn. Don't go black, okay, white okay. on. <laughs> <laughs> they were all standing under. They were all standing like, like in. in right rap. there with Francis Farmer. They you're about to go up and take <laughs> me with you. They were standing in uh, rap positions, as you know, like very, <laughs> like like against. And yeah. I'm about to introduce them. So they're standing in that rap position where. Yeah looks like 
they'll either start singing rap or pull a gun and, sh and kill you. <laughs> so, uh, so then I go, as a joke, I look at them, because I remember this is kind of a letterman -y thing to do, but I go, fellas, are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> Which forces them to go like, hmm, like uh, sh <laughs> shake their heads slightly. <laughs> <laughs> Even though they're in this crazy dangerous <laughs> mood. I'm posed up. <laughs> I'm posed up. So I thought that was funny. But uh, then I learned later they were geniuses, and I should have befriended them. Right <laughs> You're a freaking genius. Genius, Norman. The that. oddest slogan I've ever heard. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, they say. Of course it's not true. You can't kill a person and leave. <laughs> <laughs> They'll follow you across state lines yeah. and bring you back, and you don't face a jury of your peers. <laughs> so I said, what does that mean? What does it mean? Like, what are they getting at, you know? Mm -hmm. I started ruminating about it. I whittled. I started whittling. Oh, you whittle? Yeah, when I ruminate, I you whittle. whittle and ruminate. Yeah, I whittle. Hand in hand. And uh, I said, what does that actually mean? What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas? And it came to me in a sudden. <laughs> what it means is you can have sex with a prostitute in Las Vegas, and she will not tell your wife. <laughs> They're, they're very discreet uh -huh. in Vegas. They're not like these gossipy small town whores. You know? <laughs> these wow. blabbermouths down at the beauty parlor with that pale blue thing over their head, whatever that is, go, you're Hank Johnson's husband? By God, I had sex in exchange for cash last night with him. <laughs> In Small exchange. world. Yeah, in exchange for cash. <laughs> see, see, this is the thing with celebrity trials, you know, is that it really gets the country all worked up. Because the last celebrity murder, of course, we had was the O.J. Simpson murder. And what happened there is O.J. Simpson was uh, acquitted of murder, you know. And then all the black people thought that O.J. was innocent. And all the white people thought that O.J. was guilty. So what happened was it created a racial divide in the country. I read that in a magazine. It created a... But what that means is, of course, the races were divided, you know? And that's no good, you know? So I was thinking, I was figuring, maybe, uh, what do you think of this? Maybe we let... Robert Blake off and call it even. And then... Well, earlier this week, actor Marlon Brando met with Jewish leaders to apologize for comments he made on Larry King Live. Among them, that, quote, Hollywood is run by Jews. The Jewish leaders accepted the actor's apology and announced that Brando is now free to work again. <laughs> In a brilliant move during closing arguments, Simpson attorney Johnny Cochran put on the knit cap prosecutors say O.J. wore the night he committed the murders. Although O.J. may have heard his case when he suddenly blurted out, hey, hey, easy with that. That's my lucky stabbing hat. 